ceramic, porcelain, and stone tile are some of the finest floor coverings available in the marketplace today. Certain brands and patterns can also be fairly expensive. Protect your flooring investment and enhance the performance of these floors by installing Ultralayer first. Ultralayer is an excellent insulating, crack suppressant, and acoustical underlayment for tile flooring. Ultralayer is suitable for both residential and light commercial applications. Some tile installations are not everything they're cracked up to be. While there are several crack suppressant membranes on the market, frequently the high price tags they carry can be prohibitive for some budgets. Ultralayer is an economically priced alternative that will protect ceramic tile, porcelain tile, and natural stone tile from the transfer of lateral subfloor cracks up to one quarter of an inch. Although Ultralayer has great crack isolation qualities, it is not meant to bridge plant expansion joints in the subfloor. In recent ASTM C627 Robinson floor testing, Ultralayer achieved a rating of light commercial with no evidence of damage to the tile or grout joints. When hard surface flooring is installed in multifamily dwellings, sound can travel through the floor into the room below. Most building codes and condominium association requirements insist on between floor assemblies that achieve an IIC rating of at least 50. When ultra layer is installed between the subfloor and overlying tile, sound is drawn in and deadened, not transferred or deflected. As a general rule, tile installations are only as good as the subfloor they are adhered to. The approved subfloor should conform to local building codes, ordinances, climatic conditions, and trade practices set forth by the Tile Council of North America, or TCNA for short. It is critical to have a firm, level, and even surface to start with. Ultralayer approved interior subfloors are three-quarter inch plywood or oriented strand board, commonly referred to as OSB. The approved subfloor should have tongue and groove edges. Concrete subfloors with a moisture emissions rate of less than five pounds per 1,000 square feet in a 24-hour period are also approved. Installations that will be exposed to constant moisture, such as shower stalls or outdoor areas, are not acceptable uses for Ultralayer. If the installation is done over old concrete, existing cracks and major gaps and depressions in excess of 1 16th of an inch should first be filled with an approved cement patching or leveling compound. Installing Ultralayer is very simple. Start by rolling Ultralayer out over the floor. Pre-trim and test fit the pad. This is especially helpful when working around steps, doorways and cabinets. Ultra layer should be installed one quarter of an inch away from all vertical surfaces. After all sections have been trimmed to fit, begin rolling back the pre-cut pieces of ultra layer one section at a time. Mix thin set mortar a little wetter on the manufacturer's specification spectrum. Start applying thin set mortar directly to the subfloor. The proper application method is to key the thin set mortar into the subfloor with the flat side of the trowel, then comb it with the notched side. Work in a small enough area to comfortably allow you to install the ultra layer before the mortar begins to set or skin over. To extend working time, especially in warm conditions, lightly dampen the bottom side of the pre-cut pieces with water from a mist bottle or damp sponge, and then roll the pre-cut ultra layer pieces back into place into the fresh mortar. Immediately roll over the freshly laid ultra layer using a 75 pound weighted roller. If a roller is not readily available, an alternate method is to use your own weight and firmly press the pad into the mortar with the flat side of a screed trowel or grout float. Be sure to butt the seams of ultralayer together flush. Do not leave gaps or overlap the pieces. To check for proper coverage and adhesion, pull back a small section of the ultralayer and check to ensure that you are getting at least 95% transfer of thin set to the pad. Restrict traffic, allow the minimum drying time recommended by the mortar manufacturer's instructions. For setting tile over ultralayer, use a latex Portland cement mortar that meets Tile Council recommendations A118.4. Use only ceramic, porcelain, or stone tile 8 inches by 8 inches or larger. Do not use natural stone that is moisture sensitive, such as green marble. Determine the correct trowel size based on the size and back of the tile being installed. Be sure to follow the instructions of the tile manufacturer and TCNA for installation of the tile. The mortar coverage must comply with ANSI standard A108, which requires the back buttering of each tile and at least 95% thin set coverage per tile. 
For expansion purposes, leave a 1 quarter inch perimeter gap wherever the tile meets up with the wall. Allow the installed tile time to properly set up according to the thinset manufacturer's instructions. Allowing traffic onto the floor too early could jeopardize the bond strength, which could result in loose or broken tiles. Follow the ground manufacturer's instructions and again restrict traffic until the product has time to fully cure. And do not hard grout the tile to a wall or any supporting columns, pillars, or etc. There you have it. Superior sound deadening, economic price, crack suppression, insulating value, ease of installation, and good for you and the environment. Ultralayer is just one of the many fine products made by MP Global Products.